Welcome to the creative process. My name is Bernard McVeigh. I'm a crew member on the North American Eagle. And today we're going to talk about magnetic brakes. Our braking system incorporates eddy current technology. This is a very powerful rare earth magnet. This magnet pulls about 1,200 pounds if, if you were to stick it on a piece of steel. This is aluminum. Aluminum is a conductor. As we move a very powerful magnetic field through the aluminum, it excites the electrons. And the resistance is what we call eddy current. As I pass the magnet over the aluminum, you can see it actually moving without contacting. It's like pulling your hand through the water. You create resistance. The same thing's happening here as we pull the very powerful magnetic field through the electrons in the aluminum and causing resistance. The faster you move the magnet, the more resistance you create. Here on the North American Eagle, we have 27 of these rare earth magnets configured into a caliper on the back axle. This caliper moves on three hydraulic cylinders to come into close proximity to the aluminum rotor. The rotor moves with the wheel. This magnetic braking system accounts for about 50% of the braking system on the car. The car also incorporates the original speed brakes, which were part of the F-104 chassis, and parachutes to slow the car down in a reasonable amount of real estate so we can turn around and set the new land speed record. The North American Eagle incorporates all aluminum wheels. We use aluminum wheels because you can't run rubber over 400 miles an hour. It'll just come apart. These wheels were specially designed to go about 900 miles an hour to give us a little bit of a degree of safety so that when we go 800 miles an hour, we know the design is good. These wheels are only designed to operate on dirt. We would never run them on pavement or concrete. On our last run, we did about 400 miles an hour. And when we slowed the car down using magnetic brakes only, we were able to stop within about a mile and a half. The rotor temperature stopping this 13,000 pound car at 400 miles an hour only reached 625 degrees. If you were to use conventional friction braking, you would burn the brakes right off the vehicle. Welcome to the creative process. My name is Ed Shadle, principal owner and driver of the North American Eagle and basically the project manager. I want to thank a lot of the sponsors out there for helping us along the way. We've uh, come a long way in 10 years and without the help of our sponsors uh, that would be uh, nearly impossible. Many of the companies that I want to thank are local. Uh, you know, it, you'd always think of this as being sponsored by you know, large major corporations, but that's really not the case. We have companies like uh, Western Refinery Services up in Ferndale that have provided a, a huge shelter for us to uh, get the, the vehicle and, and all the tools out of the, the uh, elements when we're out on a test run. We have like Puget Sound Rope up in Anacortes that has provided the riser lines for the parachutes. It's a specially designed parachute line that is capable of taking uh, parachute loads of 50,000 pounds of force. And we have companies uh, you know, like uh, up in Canada, Eagle Machine, that has provided the uh, machine shop work for us. So uh, without those companies, without them supporting us, we wouldn't have gotten nearly as far as we have. Now we've done 23 test runs at this point in time uh, at various locations, such as starting at Toledo Windlock Airport. Uh, we have run at uh, Edwards Air Force Base, at El Mirage Dry Lake Bed, and is uh, uh, out in the lake beds of uh, Nevada at the Black Rock Desert. In all these cases, uh, uh, sponsors have been the key ingredient for helping us along. Even like the BNI donated uh, revenue to us to uh, help us pay for our hotel rooms and some of the meals for the team members. And so for a company like BNI to even be involved and, and help us is remarkable, but we really appreciate that kind of help. Our last test run uh, was up to 400 miles an hour at El Mirage Dry Lake Bed. Right now we're in negotiations to see if we can get out to Rogers Dry Lake, which is at Edwards Air Force Base, and uh, hopefully be uh, getting some runs up in the neighborhood of five to 600 miles an hour. Once we achieve those uh, levels of speed, then we will know pretty well if we're capable now of going after the ultimate record of 763. 
So uh, eventually when we're finished with our testing up to 600, then we'll probably be designing our next uh, runs to uh, run either at the Black Rock Desert or at uh, Diamond Valley out in the middle of Nevada. If you want to participate in the creative process, send us an email at thecreativeprocess at comcast.net or give us a call at 253-864-4357.